you have like little, little tiny bits of snot basically floating around in the air that could be carrying the virus. We found that speaking uh, releases much more than breathing. And we went even further. And what we showed is that like how many particles are emitted during speech is a very strong function of how loud you are. So if you speak really loud, you emit a ton, oh, way more than if, you, than if required. If you're right now, as I've been talking, I've been emitting particles out in the, in the room right in front of me. And even though they're really tiny, too tiny to see, they're huge compared to the virus. So the virus can very happily be carried along the contact tracing we've heard so much about that that tells you who you likely got it from and when you likely got it but it does not tell you by itself how you got it whether that was through a handshake or through them coughing in your face or just talking and releasing infectious aerosol particles that travel across the room some people are super emitters so for whatever reason um, some individuals when they talk just emit an order of magnitude more you know, a factor of 10 more than other people. If I was the virus and trying to infect as many people, I'd want a, a super emitter who also was a super grower of the virus or like the virus was very successful. So you had very high uh, viral concentrations. And then I'd make sure if I was a virus again, that I didn't make the person symptomatic. So they would look very healthy and I'd have them go to a bar or a choir practice and have them sing and just vocalize as much as possible for a very long time. And I'd also tell the people to shut off the ventilation uh, so, <laughs> so that, you know, you get the airborne vial concentration as high as possible. I was advocating to some journalists who interviewed me back in April. And I said, I think we should start thinking about recommending people uh, don't talk so much, uh, especially in high risk environments like hospital waiting rooms, uh, you know, things like that. And back then the reporters looked at me like I was crazy, but like, uh, I think, I think there is great Married to that, you want to do some source control. You want to minimize the amount of stuff coming out. And just being quiet would be one way of doing that.